Right, I've told you already, Matt, what happens on YouTube Golf Day stays on YouTube Golf Day. Yeah, right? and yeah. I said you've got to stop being a film star and quoting films. <laughs> <laughs> but indeed, first time back, John? Uh, yeah. First time with you, Matt. Yes, yeah, I've yeah, been exactly. a busy man for the last two weeks. It's been absolutely chaotic, I know. honestly. Now, that is a problem now. I'm expecting all these invites flooding in for you going elsewhere, and I'll just get forgotten, I feel. No, no, I can't be like that. <laughs> but, um, I am with Matt. Mr. Professor, my coach, as you can see. Uh, I don't normally do these kind of videos, but Matt said, oh, look, bring the trophy and we'll do all that. Uh, so, I don't know if you can see this, because now it's going to be on a back, dark background, because Matt did say, uh, probably glasses, that when you do that, you can't see them anymore. Bizarrely. Okay, bizarrely. Uh, because he's had lots of trophies, I guess, I, I've never had one. In, in a past life. In a past life, when you used to play a bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for table tennis. Was not it badminton or table tennis, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, this is the, uh, one of the team trophies for the YouTube Golf Day, uh, and it was a team effort. Uh, I think I scored 30 points, Rob Potter from Rob Potter Golf scored 34, I think, and then the other two um, chipped in with bits, but you know, the, whole, the whole team, I, I must admit, I don't know the full team score. It was, all, okay. it was just a complete blur, because I'm, I'm, I'm sitting there, eating my dinner, yeah. uh, all these people around, I've got a mouthful of burger, and then they go, and then the winning team is Rob Potter, Big ollie golf and I'm, <coughs> I'm choking. Yeah. And then people are like swearing in the back, like, yeah. how the hell are they win? I have no <laughs> idea. Someone grabbed the camera off me and that was it. Pure skill. Yeah. <laughs> Dedication. Well, not for the luck, I think. Yeah. But, but uh, no, that's, that's the thing, a, team event. Yeah. But it's, it's a nice trophy to win. Yeah, I've never had a trophy before, Matt. Not, yeah. not since um, I was in school and used to win the discus championship and okay. things, you know. There you go. Yeah. So you could almost make this into discus. I could almost make it into discus or a frisbee, yeah. No, well, no, that's lovely. Um, it's a great trophy, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and One so, of many more to come. Well, you never know, do you? I mean, yeah. that's, that's the hope. But for me, I am here to thank you. No, thank, thank you very much. Are. No, it's absolutely brilliant. Um, and the video we did uh, a couple of days before this, I actually went to the event about the relaxing and yeah, this uh, five, five or whatever, thoughts, six yeah. different thoughts mm -hmm. um, is going really well. That So many people are watching that now. Yeah. And it, it's just worked. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. Um, it's like applying those processes yeah. as well, which uh, we'll continue to make those videos or those type of videos as well. Um, but yeah, no, it was more of a catch up today, wasn't it? Yeah, so you, you've been really busy because obviously yeah. summer is on its way and now you're, you get more busy with different people and lessons. I know. It's uh, a two iron, man. It is it's a two a, iron. It's a tailor made P something or other. P790. P790 UDI. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and again, we are going to, once we finish our tee. Find out if I can hit it. Well, we know you can hit it. Yeah, uh, yeah. But maybe just have a quick go of that on the range. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we'll do a little um, tip or something for that. So without mucking up your that'll camera. That'll mess up, Yeah, we'll yeah, be blurry now or that'll be blurry. And we might have to cut and edit that one. No, it's fine. But It'll be fine. We're definitely going to go and use some of your new toys. Yeah. Prizes, I've, sorry. I've had prizes. a few people um, want to buy it off me. Yeah. Uh, but I, I tried it the other day at West Cornwall. So I did 14 holes, played the really long par threes with it off yeah. a tee, and it's absolutely perfect for it. I do. And it links golf. This, this, yeah. is, just gonna, this is going to be a, a super machine, yeah, really, it could as be long as I can forward. hit it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no, definitely. I think it's a good addition to your bag, and you've yeah. got room for it. Without yeah, yeah, to take I should be able out. to sort something out with that. Yeah, well, um, which is ideal. We've said I've already got a Titleist TMB3 iron, yes. which I love, but I'm not quite so confident with it because it just, even if it's a visual thing, it just feels that like the club head's slightly smaller. Right, yeah. It's a, and this is slight, just feels like <laughs> slightly longer, a little bit more forgiving. Yeah. And I, I noticed that once I'd used this a few times, I went back and tried the 3 iron. Yeah. on the same course and that was okay because then suddenly see what I was doing. Yeah, so it'd be good. We'll, we'll literally, as we said, we'll, we'll do a quick comparison today. Okay. Um, but yeah, I'll be keen to go and use this because as you know, my clubs are tailor made. Yeah. So I might steal this one off John. <laughs> I might have a hat for you. I might have a tailor made hat for you, Matt, somewhere. <laughs> well, and talking about other things you've brought in, hiding behind okay. this box. Yeah, we're in celebratory mood, aren't we? So we are very much celebrating. And you know what we're like, we, we have tea. We do like a cup of tea. Yeah, we have a cup of tea. So we're having cakes today. Uh, cupcakes. Selection of cupcakes, Matt. Um, your son's around somewhere as well. I he know. is. I'm surprised he hasn't come back in very quickly. He doesn't know there's cakes yet. <laughs> no, um, yeah. I've just um, given him a plus of cover. Yes. And, uh, from we'll your mate, our yes, mate Scott. Scott Look at those. These uh, are some John's. Celebratory up this cakes. morning. Well, 
Yeah, I wish, yeah. Uh, if I had the time that, I would have done it. A long trip back from Salisbury yesterday and uh, yeah. I had a few hours sleep. Well, this is the life of a YouTube sensation, as I keep saying. I thought about sensation, man. You know, I've, I've, my, my girls, so they've got three cheers and the two else ones are girls, they're, they're very much into now watching uh, Tim Tracker. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah um, especially because we're going out to Disney later on in the year. And I always think, well, you've only got a few more thousand to go. Oh, you never know. There we are, Tim. It's just a lot of fun. And I, I do it, and I've, I've said this before, I do youtube on my two channels because it's another creative outlet and being an artist is just something mm. different um and then it has taken off a little bit i'm still a minnow i'm still a plankton in the yeah. sea of golf channels but in cornwall yeah i'm a bit of a whale because i don't think there is anybody else i think it's just me <laughs> uh, which is which is fine that's a bit sizeism yeah <laughs> a whale if anyone has to call john a whale but, uh, I've been called worse yeah. than I think. Uh, I, I, I was saying the other day it, it was a really long trip back from formby um, it's about eight and a half hours with traffic issues and I'm just really tired of the stop a couple of times. Uh, and I literally staggered through Sainsbury's in Penzance about 10 o'clock at night. Yeah. Then my wife rings me and said, well, you've had an eight and a half hour trip, but can you pop in and get a loaf of bread? All that kind of usual thing. So, and I'm staggering through, I can hardly like, walk. Yeah. And this little lad, I don't know who he was, and I'm sorry if I didn't recognise who you are, but it's a little lad, he's about this big, felt about this big to me. Little blonde boy, walks walking through the other doors with his parents and he goes, oh right John I love your channel, I love Big Oggy and it's like, I nearly burst into tears because that, no. that, that's what it's about, it's yeah, not yeah. about, it's not about that, yeah. you know, that, that happens again, it'd be amazing yeah. but, and it's a fantastic week. And, but, and funny enough before I forget, I was teaching up here yesterday and a nice guy called Tom came up to me, I say a, a, a guy, I don't know how old Tom is and he'll probably make a comment at the end saying I'm not that old, <laughs> similar age to me Tom was. Uh, and he's just had a, um, a defib fitted to his heart. So as a youngster getting that done, or a youngster my age yeah. getting that done, I thought, wow, that's pretty serious. Now he's back hitting balls now and it's far, well, touch wood, it's all fine. And he looks like he's recovering really well. But he did say to me, tell John, hence what I'm doing, um, when he was in hospital, right. <laughs> the videos kept him amused. <laughs> I'm um, surprised they've given another heart attack. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, but now again, it, it, the, all these videos you do, they do reach a lot of different people. It is really surprising at different who times. and where. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. And this guy plays off four handicap up at Perham Porth. Um, but yeah, it was just nice when you think, yeah, you know, someone's there in hospital, not going for a particularly good time. Yeah. Um, watching you and me. Mucking around, mucking around, yeah, basically having a, um, bit of fun. having a bit of fun, and he and he said, yeah, no, it's really nice to see. So whether it's little kids, I say in Sainsbury's or other supermarkets, yeah, other supermarkets are available, available. and numerous other children yeah. are available. <laughs> um, or whether it's people, you know, good golfers, bad, well, I say bad golfers, recreational golfers. Uh, as opposed to you know really top class golfers, hopefully someone finds something in the videos that they like, even if it is just making fun out of you and me. Well, that's fine. <laughs> I, I, I did check this morning because my son's started following YouTube. Right, he's, he's that age now where he can start watching YouTube, and so of course I got him to subscribe because uh -huh. he needed subscribers. Uh, and then, blow me, I got home this morning and I just happened to go online and he's not subscribed anymore. He's, he's, he's unsubscribed from me. <laughs> Far too embarrassing. I'll be still living with him later. Yeah. Far too embarrassing, Dan. <laughs> right. That's fine. John, we're going to start eating these yeah, cakes. Yeah, eat because you haven't um, got a lot of time because you're a busy man. And we're going to turn that video off, recut it when we're back on the range. Yep. And we'll carry on talking about what happened at the Formby and they yeah. they don't know anything Indeed. About. Exactly. Cool. <laughs> but look at that cake. <laughs> What a beauty, as Ken on the course would say. <laughs> you can't bring the cake down, mate. You've stuffed your face already. No, we have to, it was very nice, those yeah, cakes. Matt so, has taken a selection back with him in his van. I have. I might take a little photo just to prove. Oh, I'll have to actually prove that the other members of the family eat them, though. Oh, right. well, you could do that. That's fine. Anyway, Matt. a quick one on okay. using this club. Using yeah? a two iron. We're going to, you know, and I know you appreciate it, John. Uh, I've got to scoot off for lessons this afternoon, but this is a very, very quick one, and then we will do a longer detailed 
tips. Mo yeah, more in-depth. Yeah, definitely. Little lesson. Yeah. Um, um, first of all, apologies for handheld, because I wasn't expecting this today. Matt just said, do a quick tip, and I like, grab a camera out of yeah. the car. So. Come in closer. Oh, right. we're coming closer. Right, thing. Um, and I know you, it's not the most exciting picture of two golf balls on the ground, but there probably is that slightly different point of view from a golf ball on the tee to on the floor. Now, if you're using this two iron, which again, do you know the loft of this two iron, Joe? I think it's 12. Yes. But I'm not sure. You might need to check that if it might be slightly higher. Okay. I'd imagine it is slightly more. I, I will put but, details on the okay. bottom of the video. Down below. Yeah. Indeed. Um, but you haven't got a lot of loft, so you've no. got to be realistic. That's the first thing. Yeah. Because again, often we talk about, or well, hang on, are these tips applicable to the higher handicaps, the, the better players? Well, a two iron, however forgiving this club head is, and by all accounts, Sally May have done a great job designing a club that looks good. Yep. performs well but we've got to be realistic as a higher handicap even though you're coming down should you be trying to play this off the floor yeah and should there be a different thought process well here's just a couple of thoughts i've got okay with the ball on the ground um i, I would do the same routine as we always go through feet together in line with the club head check distance just above the knee probably i'd go about one club head to my left three to my right so the ball is forward in that stance okay, okay? Yep. now I personally will be looking just left side of this golf ball uh, to try and get a little bit more of a compressed feeling I'm just walking like backwards and climbing over Matt's stuff here sorry right. Right. there you go yeah yep. so I'm trying to get a more compressed shot but I think this is where you need to do the experiment I certainly wouldn't be looking at the top of the ball the ground either immediately behind the ball or in front is a good tip okay yeah? yep. go for the ground shots but the bigger thing goes back to last time we stood here, weeks ago now. Well, a couple of weeks ago now, yeah, we at least. we talked yeah. about have the practice swings that mean something. Yep. Check your practice swings are accurately hitting the ground. Okay. And then, ultimately, don't change your thought process just because the ball's there. Okay. And I know it's a little bit of a repeat on what we talked about before. But just treat this like a seven iron in your mind, yeah? To say, okay, let's hit down strike through yep. and try and make the same contact on the ground that you would do a seven iron. Well I can so, confirm that went really well. Yeah, so, so, so although it's a two, yeah. loft unknown because I didn't check it, you haven't checked it yet but it'll be on the bottom of the screen. Okay. So do like a seven iron, don't make a mountain out of a molehill. Yeah, don't get same scared thing. of something because you think it should be yeah, difficult. Yeah definitely, definitely, it's not going to go high as that would showed yeah. as we looked at it, um, but at the same time if it's off a tee, I wouldn't necessarily change that ball position. I'd do exactly the same again. But the only difference being on those practice swings, maybe just that ever so slightly lighter contact on the ground. Okay. As opposed to when it is on the ground, I would just emphasize a little bit more of that strike on the ground. Sure. Okay. Yep. So off the tee again, go through your process. And we talked about the traffic lights. Yep. Yeah. Red light, yellow light, green light. Once you've got your green light, go through those processes, nothing changes, keep the swing smooth, and out goes another out shot. Out it goes. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. So basically, for the time being, John, and this was only a quick one, to add on to our nice tea cakes that you've got, well, cupcakes, cupcakes and the yeah. tea, um, keep it the same for now. Yeah. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. Uh, have some fun with your prize. I am. And well done, because this is, I think, the start of many prizes. Oh, you never know, Matt. Don't put pressure on. I'm just on, but yeah, slightly okay. worried how Rick Shields thinks well, I'm going to get 10% of a two iron, though, <laughs> as coach. Because we've got that player-coach yeah, contract that says 10% of winnings. Yeah, and because you live in Cornwall, I can't pay you in pastas. Everyone no, else exactly. gets pastas, yeah. yeah. So 10%. What is it? This end? Yeah. <laughs> or should I take this end? <laughs> the cakes will do for now. John, I hope that's a bit of use. Lovely. We'll get together again soon. Subscribe to John's channel and I'll let you do your little finish bit. No, there's, there's, there's no finish, but honestly. Go on, there, there is. There's no finish. Uh, there thank you very finish. much for watching. Thank you much for becoming part of the Big Hockey Crew yeah. and just supporting everything that I do, things that Matt do. And uh, Does. just, yeah, and keep <laughs> keep the community going. You know, keep talking Indeed. to each other, keep following each other. If you're in the same areas as each other, come and play each other, okay? Indeed. Have fun, everybody. We'll see you all soon. Hopefully, more I can I back now, Matt? Yeah, no, that's Thanks, my 10%, John. 10%. <laughs> <laughs>